So let's see today's interesting recipe of chicken satay with peanut sauce. Now first I'm going to prepare the marinade for which I've taken 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 1 tablespoon of shezwan chutney. I'm going to add about 2 teaspoons of tomato ketchup or tomato sauce. Next I'm going to add just about a teaspoon of pepper powder. All I've done is roasted the pepper powder and ground it in my dry mixer. Now I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder for the colour and also for the spiciness I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of regular red chilli powder. Now I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of soy sauce or soy sauce for the taste as well as the colour and now I'm going to uh, add a little bit of salt because the soy sauce also has some salt so just a little bit of salt and mix all of this. So this is our marinade for the chicken. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about 2 tablespoons out of this marinade and set it aside for the peanut sauce that we're going to prepare. So just take about 2 tablespoons and set it aside. Now I've taken 250 grams of chicken which I've cut, cut up into large cubes and I'm just going to add this marinade, mix it up really really well so all of the chicken pieces are coated and cover it and keep it for 15 minutes. Now after 15 minutes I'm going to add 4 tablespoons of corn flour and uh, see that it gets uh, nicely, uh, you know, go to, uh, it gets spread all over the chicken. And I'm also going to beat up one egg and I'm going to add that too. So what this will do is when we fry the chicken a little bit, it will become nice and crispy. So after adding the egg and the corn flour, I'm going to mix all of this. And again, I'm going to set it aside for at least 25 minutes. So all of the marinade as well as the egg and the corn flour really, you know, infuses the chicken. So set this aside for 25 minutes. That's very important for the right kind of crispiness that we're looking for. Now, after about 25 minutes, I'm going to heat about four tablespoons of oil and I'm just going to fry these chicken pieces. Uh, till they are nice and golden brown on both sides. So keep your ho uh, heat between medium and high and just keep turning the chicken till you get this lovely crispy golden brown colour. And then drain the excess oil on some kitchen napkin. So your chicken should look like this. You should have nice crispy pieces. It should be well coated with all of the marinade as well as the corn flour as well as the egg. And now in the same pan in which we fried it, there should be at least about one teaspoon of oil in it. If there isn't, then just add a little. And we're going to add some diced garlic. Fry the garlic really well. It's about two tablespoons of diced garlic. That is about four large cloves cut really fine. Fry the garlic till it's, you know, all the rawness goes away. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of shes, one chutney. Mix the chutney in well with the garlic. So this is going to be like a kind of a sauce only which will coat the chicken. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Next I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato sauce or tomato ketchup, whatever you have at hand. Mix that in well. So this is a really delicious dish guys and uh, you'll want to make it all at the, all the time. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of soy sauce or one teaspoon of soy sauce or you can adjust it as for you know your taste. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vinegar for a little bit of tanginess and mix everything in really well. Oh the aroma is amazing. And now I'm just going to add about one fourth cup of water now I've prepared a slurry using 1 tablespoon of corn flour to 4 tablespoons of water and mix that in really well and I'm going to add this slurry. Now stir it in before you're adding it because the corn flour tends to settle at the bottom of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the vati or the cup and then add that. Now what this corn flour slurry will do is it will thicken up this gravy or this coating immediately. So this is like a thick sauce which we're going to you know, put the chicken in. And then I'm going to show you the peanut sauce that goes really well with this chicken satire. So now our sauce has nicely thickened. Keep your gas on a very low flame and just add all the chicken pieces back in. Mix everything really well together so that all of the chicken gets coated with this sauce. Ensure that all the chicken pieces are nicely coated. Now one tip I'd like to give you here is 
add the chicken to the sauce, you know, just about five or ten minutes before you're going to serve it, and then garnish it with some coriander. That way, the chicken will remain nice and crispy. Now we're going to make the sea peanut sauce. So I've not turned the heat on under the pan. I've taken a saucepan to which I've added one cup of peanut powder. Then I'm going to add one cup of coconut milk. Now this is just a ready-made coconut milk. I've just added the powder to some hot water. Or you can use, you know, actual coconut milk. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can use regular sugar. The brown sugar adds a little bit of an extra taste taste to it. Now this is the marinade that we had kept aside. Just add that too. Now uh, I leave a link of how I prepare peanut powder at home. I leave a link in the description box. Uh, you can go and check it out. It's super simple. Now I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt, and I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. So remember the gas is not yet turned on, that is the heat is not turned on, we're just adding all the ingredients first. Now mix everything really well together, now is the time you're going to turn the heat on and you're going to keep stirring this sauce on a very low to medium flame till everything comes together and the, uh, you know, the sauce starts to thicken up a bit. Now at this point would be a good time to give a taste to this sauce to see if you want to add a little bit of, uh, you know, more of the sarness or more of the sweetness. So accordingly you can adjust the sauces, etc. Now keep on stirring this till you get a nice thick peanut sauce. Now generally the chicken satay is made on skewers or kebab sticks, but I'm just making it as a dry dish. And all you have to do is just, you know, pick up the chicken pieces and just dip them in the sauce and have them. So our sauce is all ready. So all I've done is just kept the chicken pieces in a plate. I've just added the sauce to a small little cup. And all you have to do is take a fork and just dip it into the sauce and have it. So this is a super simple dish and really, really delicious. So do give it a try and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys. today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.